Hello, today we are going to replace the red wheels that allow the car turner to spin around. Each uh, car turner has six of these and the ones on the bottom are about five years old. Actually, they're about seven years old, but they kind of died a couple years ago. So it's been a little limping along. Here's what we need to do. A hammer, three-eighths and five-sixteenths, Phillips flat, and a seven-sixteenths wrench. See these things right there? Okay. Put that aside. Here's the motor. This is the wheel that we're going to be replacing. This holds, this is the spring that pushes up against the wheel to push it up against the turner right there. So we're going to be replacing one, two, or we're going to be re, uh, removing one, two, three of these screws and these two nuts right here. All right, so this wire right here, see how it goes in front of this bolt right there and behind this thing right here in front of the wheel. To get this off, I'm just gonna kind of push forward and lift up and then pull off of this right here. On this device right here, there's a Phillips right here that we're gonna remove and two right here. This is the spring right here. It's a rubber device that on this one, some of them actually have a spring. This right here, you can, it kind of twists. It gets stuck there a little bit. So if you twist it, it will release it a little bit and you'll be able to, at some point, let it come off. So right now, the next thing we're gonna do is use our flathead to remove this that holds the contraption in place. This right there. And now I'm gonna pound this through. That's really what I'm using this 5 16 through. You could use anything that is about that size. This right here comes right out. And now you'll see this has got a Phillips head in it too. It may have this extra nut on the bottom, which allows it, gives it more pressure for the wheel. Once we put those in after our wheels were giving out to force them against the turner itself. So now I'm gonna pull this wheel out, drop it over there. I'm gonna clean this up a little bit.
So there's a flat side and an inside right here. And the flat side goes down on this chain. This is what controls the, obviously controls the wheel. They're both the same side. They're two sides, they're only kind of identical sides. Line it up. I'm gonna put this bad boy right here. See the side it's on? Kind of maneuver this along. This is okay to come out. Line it up, push it back in. This is probably the hardest part. This actually went pretty easy this time. This needs to be out enough that you can see a little bit of an indentation in there so that you're gonna be able to get this guy back in there. Okay. Use it by your hands, or you can use this to kind of push it back in. This one went in pretty easy. Okay. Go like this. Open, put it in, and close. And kind of not really screwing it on, but just kind of twisting it on, I guess I'd say. And a little bit of this screw to show at the end right here. You'll see in a minute why that's important. Now let's put this and these two screws back on. And the last one took me about 10 minutes, 10 or 15 minutes, kind of a magic number. All right, I'm looking at my parts. Looks like I've only got these two nuts and these two or these three screws, so I feel like I've got everything on there. All right, I'm gonna do one last vacuum. Here. All right, so this points out towards you. Okay, this wire goes in front of this, okay, on this side, closest side of it. And this wire goes behind these two uh, bolts coming through. And a little bit underneath um, this part of the wheel contraption right there. First, I'm gonna get these kind of lined up. That one feels like it's in. That one feels like it went in. So I push with my thumbs and, and then use these two middle fingers to push the wire out of the way. And I get this little uh, part, end part of the screw to come through this hole right here. That's through. Now I'm gonna push that wire out of the way. And push this down. Now I'm gonna put these nuts on the top.
So now you can see that this is firmly against it. Actually, you can see it's a little bit indented right there, which means there's pressure up against it, and that is good. So the last thing that we're gonna do here is just put the uh, cover back on here. And so, let's see, make sure to double check this wire is in front of us. These wires are behind these two nuts right there. Okay, this is actually up, which is right. And my tape right there was just, this is the connection for the power and the motor right here. This I'm gonna lift it up so I can slide these underneath it. And then over here, hopefully it falls down. This went really easy. Oftentimes you can tell it's, if it's laying on a cord, you'll have to take it up, move the cord, um, and try again. And I'll just screw this in with my 3 8 Rock on.